Alright, what's up everybody? This is Sam from Solar Meme Bet. In this video, I'll be doing a card wrap up, the, all the picks, the bets, and I'll be talking about the prop bets that I'm taking for FC on SPN 25, Eager versus the Korean Zombie. Before starting though, if you'd like to follow me on Instagram, feel free to start doing. I put up some bets that I take before, there prior to the video, so if you'd like to take the early update, feel free to start following me. So I'll be first talking about all the picks and the bets. I'm not going to be breaking down anything. I have a video for that, link in the description. And then I'm going to be moving on to the prop bets for the card. I'll be just a real quick talking about those. But if you'd like to hear the full perspective, again, go for the breakdown. Okay. And uh, if you see this video from Patreon, thank you very much for support. You guys uh, make this possible. If you'd like to support me on Patreon, stick until the end. All right. So between Wellington Turman versus Bruno Blindado, I'm picking Turman but not betting the fight. Rick Glenn versus Joaquin Silva, picking Glenn not betting the fight. Virna Jandiroba versus Kanako Murata, picking Jandiroba not betting the fight. Diego Lima versus Matt Brown, pink, picking Lima not betting the fight. Samuels Berger versus Chaos Williams, picking and betting Samuels Berger. Alexa Kamer versus Nicolai Nugumerano, picking Kamer, betting Nugumerano. Josh Parisian versus Rocky Martinez, I'm picking and betting Parisian, I didn't put it here before. It's my bad. Let me just real quick. I'm throwing like uh, less than one percent of my money on Josh Parisian. Um, I think there's some value there. I'm gonna be updated here the column of the potential payout later on. Uh, Marlon Vera versus David Grant. I took a bet on Grant when he was a plus two fifty dog. So I'm picking Vera actually, but betting Grant. Tagir Lumbeko versus Tyson Nam. Picking Lumbeko versus. Sorry, but betting them. Sergey Spivak, Spivak, as one of my viewers told me, versus Alexei Olenek. Picking Spivak, but betting, not betting the fight. Casey O'Neill versus Lara Procopio, picking O'Neill, but uh, not betting the fight. Julian Rosa versus Sangu Choi, picking and betting Choi. 0.75% of my money. Daniger versus Chung Sung Jung, Korean Zombie, picking and betting Ige. Okay? So on to the prop bets. Alright, so these are the prop bets that I got for you guys for this card. Not so many, at least compared to the amount that I bet in, in a new, uh, regular basis. There are some good ones, but not so many uh, as other cards. So, Casey O'Neill by decision. If you hear my breakdown, you know why I'm picking O'Neill. Basically, I think she could make it interesting. She could outstrike Procopio. From the top, she could grapple with Procopio. I think she's bigger, stronger. But basically, I think she could. A little bit more chance to win, and it's, she wins it by decision. I don't think she KOs uh, Procopio. Diff very difficult to submit Procopio. So, by decision, O'Neill it's a good one, in my opinion. Jandiroba versus Murata go the distance. It's probably the best one. Even though Jandiroba is dangerous with the submissions, Murata has the experience to stop that. Murata probably will always play from top. So, quite. I don't see much chance that Jandiroba finishes Murata, the other way around, even less likely, so I think I like this one. Probably the best one for this one for this uh, card. Murata by decision, I think I said uh, why, right? She can talk, take top position, she could outstrike Jandiroba. It's difficult to tell, but I think there's a decent value um, on Murata in here, especially at plus 250 by decision. David Grant by decision. Grant has good chances to win this fight because of Vera. He's a super tough guy, but he he's quite odd, you know, in a regard that uh, he doesn't uh, implement his strategies too well. So Grant could win, and most likely by decision. Then I have around Robin here, who is uh, Vera and the Grant that we spoke about. Even in Iggy and Zombie go the distance. The reason here is both of these guys tough, even though I think there's a chance that Iggy finishes Zombie. Also, a small chance that Zombie finishes Iggy. But I think this goes to decision. Jenny Rob Morata go the distance we spoke about. And Mar Parisian Martinez go the distance. Uh, both of these guys, these heavyweights, they are pretty tough. They are not the, the biggest puncher. Even though Parisian, he has a good natural power. He could finish Martinez. I don't see much the other way around. But I think most likely Martinez is going to play it safe. He's not going to want just to go there and start getting hit. He's probably going to play on the outside safe and lose a decision. So that's why I, I like this one a little bit too. So it's a... Uh, uh, round robin that I have for this one and uh, I haven't told but uh, I'm hiding here one column in respect to my patrons for $15 tiers that they show the amount that I'm betting in each one as the amount they find the strategy okay Jandy Robo versus Morata go the distance Parisian Martinez go the distance I also put a, an, a even though there it's in this round robin I put an extra one here 
I think this is a good chance to cash and I like this one at plus 140. Joaquin Silva by TKO. I was between betting that or um, reclaim by decision. I think uh, reclaim by decision is quite expensive. I end up going with Joaquin Silva by TKO. Let's see, I'm just throwing some small money here. There's more chance that he he finishes uh, Glenn. Parisian by decision. I think Parisian is, is the winner here. I'm betting him. And uh, by decision is, uh, I think, the way he wins. But still, not anything crazy could finish Martinez. That one goes the distance. Spoke about already. Jury El Rosa by decision as a cover bet. Juige, that's one of my biggest bets of the card. On, uh, sorry, Julian Rosa covering uh, Shang. Sang Wu Choi, that's it's one of my bets of the card. So if Erosa could finish Choi, but I don't see much likely if Erosa wins gonna be a decision, you know. So I think uh, it's a good cover bet. Sam Burger by decision, I think he wins and wins by decision. That's the, the bet that I have. Turman by decision, like I said, I think Turman wins and by decision, even though he could get finished, depends if he start if he's gonna try to prove a point against a big puncher like a Bruno Blindado. Maybe he will because he's too young. He looks like still developing his, the mental aspect of the game. But still, I'm gonna take a chance here if he brings the right game plan and he could take it to the ground, edge blind out on a decision because I don't think he finishes blind out. Olenic versus Pivot go, go the distance and Olenic by decision. This may sound odd to most of you guys. It is actually a little bit wild. The reason is this is a so un such an unpredictable fight. I am expecting this Pivak finishes um, Olenic by TKO. Olenic could f also finish Spivak by decision, by submission, by TKO. But guys, I don't know, this fight is so weird. Could very much Olenic, you know, keep pushing the pace and uh, not being able to take Spivak much down. And you know, Spivak could hurt Olenic but not finish him because he's gonna have to be worried about the takedowns. So it could be weird, could go to the decision, as weird as it sounds. There is not too likely, but at plus 400, I see value there. And like I told you guys, Olenic, he could have finished, he could uh, uh, get a decision just by pushing the pace and, you know, make it more, make it like a dog fight, something like this, you know, and not being able to finish Spivak. So, it's a long shot, but still, I am taking a small stab on this one. Again, zombie go the distance like I spoke you guys, told you guys, both of this guy's stuff. And uh, you get by decision, I think it's the... This is one easy to tell why, right? I think Igu wins and Korean zombie is tough. Igu has good power, etc. But zombies is not easy to finish, alright? So that's what I have, guys. I hope you liked uh, this video. If you did, please like, subscribe, let me know how you guys are betting this. And uh, if you wish to support me on Patreon for 10... Uh, a month, which is pretty easy to recover. If you follow me, you know that uh, it makes difference to take the early markets. Like I spoke in this video about Grant, I took took him in an early market, Samuel's Burger. Also, there's money coming on him, so it's pretty easy to to get this ten dollar back. You know, if you bet like what fifty dollars a month, something like this, it's easy that you get this this ten ten bucks back to you. For 15 you have uh, this video uh, early on plus all the prop bets that I'm taking, the spreadsheet here. And for $50 the ultimate package that I have line by line on the bets that I'm taking. So just to show you guys how it looks like, here is a, a dump on the, on the last one. So it's line by line everything that I'm, that I'm betting. Uh, the results on the last card were pretty uh, even, it was not a profitable card for me. But uh, it was nearly one unit profit, so it's things that I that I combine. I put line by line how much I'm throwing each guy. You know, there are combination of different events, like uh, this one here, Dolice and Brandon Moreno. Then I had this uh, big, this big uh, round robin that cashed pretty nicely. You know, Murphy and Moreno. So some good, some interesting prop bets that, I, that you guys. Uh, would take if you're following me, Rodriguez from the previous card, you know, uh, Gregory Rodriguez with Brandon Moreno, which cashed nicely, even though I didn't risk much, because obviously there was some risk there, but uh, still, it cashed, it cashed nicely. Okay, so just, just so, so you guys can know uh, how this looks like. Alright, so again, if you like this video, let me know in the comments, Let me uh, feel free to support me in uh, for future. And uh, I'll talk to you next time. This is Sam from Throttle Man Beds, bringing the best, most consistent and transparent betting strategy for you.